FPS drops down to 30, and we are recording. Hello, everybody. One Lego train here. I've got nothing else special to say today. Well, there's a lot of logistics robots going around. That's something I can say. But I think I think we need to work on more accumulators. Yes, I came into this not knowing what the heck I'm doing. Let me just check the logistics system. You got ten. Didn't I have an assembler set for them, or did I remove that? Hmm, must have removed it. That one takes 15. So yes, we should probably just work on accumulators, because steam engines aren't really the best, and I do not want to, and I do not want to rely on them forever. all 15 of those getting lower and lower. Copper doesn't look like it's running out anytime soon. Coal is entirely backed up. Iron is up here and it looks like it's backed up. For okay, it's not backed up, but that we're running out of it. That's a problem. Okay, this is because I want to get this one line cleared up. And don't tell me how inefficient it is, I already know. My voice has gotten deeper. Just so that way this inside line has a bigger priority. That is a lot of iron plates, you gotta admit. I'm surprised they're all producing. Well, this one is just barely. Things always full. Always full, full, full. About anything. Okay, so the last five of these are full, and these ones, none of them. So the last five of these are just absolutely filled to the bone. <coughs> uh, bless me. Oh yeah, we were going to get this one as well, and we needed a hundred processing units, but we also needed the electronic circuits, which weren't a problem, but these were. What are you low on? Electronic circuits. Takes three of them.
basically the output for this is just absolutely awful because we've got one, two, three, four technically outputs. So that's pretty much three splitters. But this is just inefficient, is what it is. Actually, I think I might move this down a bit. Let it finish up with what it's doing now. And, okay. I'm coming into this partially blind. Production should stop just dead right about now. So basically what my plan is, just move this down a bit. Oh yeah, I was going to have two of these. Yes, I remember what I was doing, but... In all honesty, I partially really don't know. Give it power. This side's going to need power as well. Reset the crafting recipes. Two per on this uh, this side. That should fill up almost instantly. Then splitter. I don't know. I'm either making this better or worse. I'm probably making it worse, if anything. I know one Lego train. One Lego train only makes things worse. <laughs> so, did that help any? Is the next question. Yeah, it seems pretty consistent. And none of these even have their speed modules. What happened if what would happen if I were to cut this off? Just out of curiosity. No, it wouldn't be enough. Cause I need that backup. That's something that's saving me. Or what if I put the speed modules in? Produces faster but still doesn't back up. Yeah, I just want that backlog. That's what's really saving me. I could probably loop this up around, up and around. Begin the overcomplication of something that probably doesn't need to be overcomplicated. <laughs> so isn't it like 20 for one landfill or something? Let me just double check that. I don't want any extra. So 20, so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I get a very small amount of landfill. Oh, well, that works. A little bit. Don't ask me what I'm doing. This is just experimentation at this time. So this takes just about every other one. OK, 
Okay, never mind. I should have this as a separate inserter. So far, my biggest problem with with this, it isn't factorial. It's just the logistics robots. There's so many of them that they start to get in the way when you pick things up. You start to pick up logistics robots left and right. Okay, that means, yes, this produces much faster. I can give it another speed module. Speed 20 and speed 20 gets me a speed 30 with a couple processing units. Speaking of processing units, let's take, let's take a look at how they're doing. Okay, so I really don't think I need any more logistics robots. Pretty sure I've got thousands of them. Just gonna cut off that production line. Sixty-four of them. Yeah, there's just not enough advanced circuits. It's really choking the production. Maybe I should have just a separate thing. Oh uh, no. So my accumulator just ran out of the battery. And now I'm being sufficed off the steam engines and the solar panels. Yes, the accumulators just died. So I need a couple more. So I need like another, I don't know, say 30 of them. Oh, and the, and the steam engines were consistently, were, were consistent as well. That's crazy. So I need the production to hit the top. Wait. Which one of these do I need to hit the top? Well, I could probably use more of these. Um, where are my construction robots at? Okay, so they go that big, so I could probably use this with two more of them. I need 90 advanced circuits. I just need I just need I need advanced circuits left and right. This is crazy. I'm gonna cut that off just to see if I can't save on advanced circuits. I'm probably killing my production line <laughs> on absolutely everything. size 7x7, seven seven, grid size 10x10. 10 10. Yes, this might, that might be a good thing to research, ten, the 10x10. Ten ten. Hey, does my character change if I take off? Oh, it does! Nah, right now I'm a builder. Now I am ultra power ranger. <laughs> I don't know. I'm probably killing my 
I'm gonna, I'm probably choking my entire production line just because just because I'm trying to get one thing to be priority. Next thing I know, another thing is gonna need work, and then ever and then problems just arise from there. I can see the future. I am going to die a horrible death. Get rid of this tree. I'd shoot it, but can't always shoot things. It doesn't always solve the problem. That was one of the cases where, yeah. Don't ask me what I'm talking about anymore. I have lost track about 20 minutes ago. Cubed? So one of, the, one of the, oh, so, oh, I see. Gonna need one of those, one of those, one of those, and three of those times 150. Three times 150, that'll be 450. But I need to research all these other modules because this takes a lot of stuff to craft. Well, let's get started. Yes, the instant problem of not having anything that I need. Um, where's my chest? There it is. There's my chest. Um, so it said I'll need 300. So the, actually I'll put them over here. So I'll need 300 for that, and then I'll need another 300 for that, so 60 in total. And I have some extra advanced circuits in here, so that's good. I'm well, not going to grab them, because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I don't grab things. Uh, assembler. Don't ask me what I'm singing, I have no clue. Um, how are we gonna do this? We could probably Ah, yeah, we could put it over here. And Insert tell it to craft those. Give it that. Put these in. And just allow it to craft stuff. Thankfully that can just barely reach under there. Hopefully that places onto that. In which it does. Hooray! There we go. So this should be easy, easy enough. Just gonna let the 300 back up into there. Advanced circuits starting to back up here. I've cut off my system about three times and I've not said this to craft anything. Exports, tree, conveyors, upward, 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 take away this one. There we go. How long have I been recording? I lose track too easily. 
Uh, let's see. I have been recording for 20 minutes. So we got another 10 minutes to go. All right, let's figure out what the heck to do now. What should we do now? This is ridiculous. Dang. Okay, so all of those are going to have to be upgraded to fast. So I'm going to need a metric ton of iron gear wheels, but thankfully, I've got my metric ton. So that's going to be a lot of transport belts. Probably not as many as I think that there are going to be, but hey, probably still a lot. So now let's run along this conveyor line so that way we can go faster. And let's begin this. So now I need more of these and more of this. Thankfully, that's an extra of these on me. Not sure if the recording is picking that up, but it is starting to absolutely pour outside. Actually, why did I run along the conveyor line when I could just use my car? Hold on a second. I gotta check this out. It's starting to pour outside. Yes, it is absolutely starting to pour outside. All those iron gear wheels and still not enough. I guess I'll just create that. So, yes, I need two of these. No, I need three of these. Um, iron gear.
Man, I'm gonna have a lot of these. Probably way more than I need. Help me, I'm being chased by a bunch of logistics robots. They follow my every move and they give me things I need. Should I be asking for help or saying yay? Okay, so there we go, that's upgraded. That backup won't last for long. Because it's being rubbernecked here and here. Wow. I'm not even looking outside, I'm just saying, oh wow. There goes all of those. <gasps> I told you the backup wouldn't last for long. Now I have to uh, get more of these uh, furnaces. It'll be under production. Ten stone bricks, so yeah, I could probably use about. Yeah, why not? Get another ten of them. Auto save. these, five of these, two of those. How's the map looking? Okay, so it's looking quite big. Might need a couple more of these. Radar Gibwishup. I'm not sure who he is, but all I could do is hope that he isn't offended that I probably mispronounced his name. Accumula accumulators only take accumulators just help with the steam engines. I want it to be the other way around. So I'm going to need like 300 of these for them to take over. And I'm going to need to triple or quadruple the size of my solar panel field. Ready, set, we're about to run out of power. Watch a satisfaction drop to about halfway or less. I was right. So yes, we need a ton more solar panels. Or, yeah, solar panels. Just want to make sure I can put it where they'll actually build it. Okay, so I got one more line that I can build before I can't build any more. Not sure if I've told you yet, but the orange, the orange square that you see, that is like, um, the orange square that is like for chests, like the requester checks, checks, requester chest, active provider chest, etc. And the green is for like the building area. At least that's what I know. How many do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, about ten. Uh, no, I don't know. I don't think I counted that correctly at all. Furnaces, game lagging too much. Place down. Really, I just want to place the power and get out of here because look how much it's lagging. Look how bad my computer is. Look how good the game is. Look how many good games I can't run on my computer. <laughs> Actually, why'd I do that? I could just use the fast one.
Okay, so now it's producing a lot, but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say fast. Actually, I'm gonna reroute it to go up here. So hopefully there should be absolutely no backlog. Hopefully there should be a backlog up here though. That is start, that is beginning to lag. Actually, I should save that as a that, that's actually a pretty good design. Um, sure, a blueprint book, whatever the heck that's supposed to be. Well, that's a pretty that's a pretty neat item. Uh, here we go. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Uh, blueprint, edit label, um, furnace, setup, LVL two. Basically, what that the uh, what that is when I say level 2 is just the fact that it's like level 2 transport belts oh man look at that look at that that looks cool that's cool how it just merges into like one line oh cool there's the backlog that I needed <laughs> okay so then I shouldn't have to worry about this for like a long time Hopefully. Because, I mean, it's moving pretty consistent both ways. But I don't see any reason that I need to make this go faster anywhere along the line. Oh, wow. Look at all those. I've choked the system and look what I've done. <laughs> awesome. Well, let's create two of those. Just create the gears because I really don't care enough right now. Ooh. You're one away. Come on, come on. Come on, you're one away. How can you not? There we go. I'm gonna increase this to 20. Nah, 100, 100 processing units. I forget what I was supposed to craft with those. 1,000 advanced circuits per hour. Nice. Um, what was I supposed to craft with? Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry. I can be very forgetful sometimes, but let's see. Well, there's 24 alien artifacts. That's starting to fill up a little bit. Uh, where's my chest? Ah, oh, there it is. Total in 30, and it's going to take 10 seconds to craft. All right, I'm going to end this episode here with the crafting of the portable fusion reactor. And thank you guys for watching, I guess. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you guys in the next episode. As soon as this... Alright, that's done. 
Okay, see you guys later.